Hello. Have a night. I'm just gonna get a drink and I'll be right with ya. BLB. Hello, hello, hello. Nice. Are we panicking? Do we need to panic if I'm back? <laughs> oh yeah, I definitely pressed the right button. There we go. Everyone see that right? Cease the panic. The panic is no longer necessary. Right. I think... I'm trying to think. We did the diamond mine. We got all the gubbins we needed from that. So I think all we gotta do now is... I'm trying to think now. We did the three in Frisia, didn't we? So I'm thinking about the red jewels, make sure I'm not missing any. Did the three in Frisia, we did the three in the diamond mine. Uh, yeah, we're actually good. We're good. We are good, team. Hello, Pumpkin. Hello, Mogs. Hello, Deeks. Hey, Fairy Wolf. Hello, Colin. Hello, Varet. Hello, Arth. Hello, Fiki. Hello, Leogon. Hello, Chipotle. Why am I getting snowballs thrown at me? Hello, Al. Bonsoir. Here we go, bonsoir. <laughs> Lude. Hey, Lorella. How's things with you? Thank you very much for the resub. Hope you've been doing alright. Alright. Uh, give it a couple minutes, I guess. I don't think we need to see Gem. I don't think there's anything new to show him, actually. Hey, Lone. You're off to Little La France somewhere. Oh, you're nice. I haven't been to France for quite a few years, actually. It's been a while since I've been in Paris. Quite a few years, in fact. I'd like to get back at some point. Satisfying noise, I assume. Alright, let's get started. Glad you're right, Lorena. Good stuff. I mean, the British say Paris generally, but uh, obviously, if you. If, for the French, it's Paris, right? That's how you say it, but. Right! We go to the hotel. Recently, tourists have avoided this town. Business is terrible. Is it because there's a fucking slave market quite literally at the back of the hotel? Right. So we need to play the tune. Will began playing the melody he remembered. This is the one we got off Sam in the mines. The Anchor Watt theme. It's actually kind of amazing with the limited sound channels the Super Nintendo has, like, how it really makes it sound like a proper flute like that. It's quite nice. What is this place? Somehow I feel a little homesick. This is a- uh, making everyone remember stuff, essentially. I feel like I'm back in the womb. 
Way to make everyone feel awkward, Eric. No one needs to think about that. Everything that's happened and the people I've met are pouring into my head. I was raised in the town of South Cape when my father didn't come back from an expedition. The most important thing in my life was gone. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't stand my father using soldiers to invade other countries. It's awful when someone loses their life. What had taken years to put together was destroyed in one moment. I wonder if Seth is alright. This part is strange, yeah. People live on because they forget about unpleasant things. It's like a jumble of words shoved together, but I guess that's kind of the point. People are suddenly flooded, rem like flooded. Yeah, I saw the gif, you didn't even notice. Sorted. Memories fixed. What? What? What have I been doing? What's, what's happened to everyone? Yay, Lance, your memory's back. I was worried. I always wondered what would happen. Yay. I guess everyone was worried. I'd take care of someone in this situation. But I guess everyone was worried I'd take care of someone in the same situation. What's wrong? You're crying. I've experienced much in my travels. Uh, well, apparently there's an eccentric inventor in the woods nearby. Shall we go? I think his name is Neil. Did you say Neil? That's the same name as my lost cousin. What a coincidence. Woo! Wait, we, what's this about abuse? Extreme privilege, damn right. My cousin Neil, the inventor, flew in the sky in a thing called an airplane. So Will and his group went to the inventor's house. Yay! We're going off to see cousin Neil, who happens to live in a completely different country. I mean, Neil's great, but I I always found, like, the, there's no real discussion about it particularly. It's a bit strange. But there you go. It's Neil's cottage. It's open. Come in. Neil, it's me, Will, from South Cape. Man, the spray work in this game is so cute. Like, all the characters look great. Oh, Will! You've gotten strong. Are all these people your friends? This person stinks. You, what are you saying? You shouldn't talk like that. There's a wonderful smell in this room, isn't there? <laughs> hey, hey. Both of you talk pretty harshly. When you're wrapped up in inventing something, you don't care about your appearance. I don't think the smell is that bad. Not enough for me to hate it. I've only been wearing these socks for a month. I've only had mine on for three weeks. I guess I lose. I can't believe it. I don't want to breathe the same air as him. That's enough. I've heard enough about my socks. Make yourselves at home. You're Will's friend, so welcome. Neil's a gribbler. Seth will be pleased when he sees this invention. Bro. Eric, Seth, dude, Seth got eaten by Leviathan, man. Like, he fell into the water and got swallowed by a giant sea abomination. I, I, I think Seth's pretty fucked, dude. I can't believe it. I don't want to breathe the same air as him. Oh, that's all the same things. Can't talk to Lily. Lily's banned. It's been about two years since we last met, hasn't it? That's not really long lost cousin, then, is it, Will? I've invented a lot of things since then. The four inventions in this room are my best work. Have a look. Those are airplane wings. That's not actually. I looked at the oxygen tank, but it went. It's part of a machine that will fulfill man's dream of flying in the air like a bird. The body's too big and you need a runway to take off, so it's hidden in the desert. That's an oxygen tank. There's air inside. With this, you can breathe underwater, but there's only about one minute's worth of air inside. Compressing the air would let you stay underwater longer, but I don't know how to do it. So interesting, Neil is basically inventing well, more or less modernish tech here. That's a telescope. You can see stars if they were in your hand. That's a camera. It will burn a copy of a scene onto printing paper. The problem is it takes almost 30 minutes. Scenery doesn't move, but to photograph a person means they can't move for 30 minutes. When I used it, the eyes turned bright red like a rabbit's. Spooky. Oh, thank you, thank you, Dukes. Tell me where you came to see me. 
Will starts telling Neil about hearing his father's voice and visiting the world's ruins in his search to find the mystic statues. Huh. Interesting. I, too, have some interest in ruins. The ruins Will talked about are scattered all over the world, but they have something in common. Drawing a line among the ruins makes a shape that looks like the constellation of Cygnus. Weird. You, scab! Cyg Cygnus? That's the Tower of Babel, where Will's father got lost, and in the middle of the ground painting of the big white bird. It's in the middle of the paint. It's in the middle of the ground painting of the big white bird. There's a new red star below the constellation of Cygnus. That's right. You know a lot. The red star in Cygnus. Will's interest in ruins. Different elements are bound together organically. I don't know if it's by coincidence or by design, but something is going to happen. Fortunately, the Nazca ground paintings are a week's walk east of here. Go. Yeah, fuck it, I, I'm up for a week's trip. Good, it's settled. We're going too. We don't want Will to be the only one having a good time. The group went to the Nazca Desert. So we're about to hit our next second proper dungeon. This is what I mean about the map, by the way. So Kara and Will went to the cat, like from the castle to Lily's village. It must have been like fucking, like, I don't know, like five days walk. The Nazca Lines. It was a long way, but you did a good job. This is the most famous of the ground paintings, the Condor. You ever heard of it? No one knows why ancient people drew pictures like this. Whenever I come here, I'm overwhelmed by the grand scale. You should go see for yourself. Everyone's off doing their own thing for a bit. Eric's staying up here with Neil. It's scary. I'll stay with Neil. Haha. <laughs> Don't be in such a hurry. Wait for everyone else. So we can actually have a look around. This is the... the bird? Up until now, all I've done is go to school, study and play. Sometimes I wonder if my dream being here isn't all a dream. Doesn't there seem to be a pattern in the way the rocks are scattered around? It's got the creepy music. Here's the wing of the condor. Gotta find a uh, car or somewhere. I'm not sure where Kara's got to. Let's just. When you look at it this way, it's like the white lines are. Uh, it's like the white lines are an athletic event. Maybe the ancient Nazca people ran the 100 yard dash here. I, I, I don't think they did, Kara. Hey, Bluegrass. Hey, Gbunked. This is the condor's stomach. If you dig here, you might find eggs. It's a joke. Don't be so serious. Just shut the fuck up, Will. Is that it? I think that's everybody, so we go back to Neil now. Everyone has a bit of a look around. We're gonna have a no zoom. How's Meg? Meg's tonight. alright. We haven't missed anybody, have we? Lansley, Kara, Neil, Eric, yeah. I know where we need to go, but I think we have to wait for the... Everyone's having a look around, which is fair enough. Doesn't need to be a pattern in the way they lock. Yeah, yeah. I think we can find a, a moon tribesman around somewhere. There it is. <laughs> I just want the moon tribe guys that kind of spooky. Hey Morgan. Can I get another one of this? It must be great to paint such a huge painting on a natural canvas. The ancients were amazing. I wonder why they made this. What's going to happen? It's so exciting. We'll talk about it when everyone comes back. The mystic statue that Will spoke of is somewhere on this plane? I thought I'd seen these paintings before. But doesn't this condor look like Cygnus? Of course! I hadn't noticed. When we look at it, we see Cygnus. But ancient people probably just saw a condor. Ah, I got it. 
Look, look where the rocks are on the ground. They're positioned like the stars in the constellation Cygnus. Of course! Cygnus has nine stars, and there are nine stones. So where's the red star that appeared recently? Condor's head, Condor's right foot, Condor's left foot, Condor's tail. So it should be Condor's... right foot, I guess? I would think it would be at the bottom. Where's the red star that appeared recently? Oh, Condor's tail, I guess. This is so badly translated. Let's try left foot then. Of course, at the joint of its left foot. Let's check the left foot. Come team. Hey, have a... Which is here. There's a tile buried in the sand. When Will's flute touched it, there was a rumbling sound. Ready? Aliens! Ancient aliens, something like so. Something huge is coming down. Will! Will? Will is gone. And we go to the Sky Garden. There's a strange garden floating in the sky over Nazca. On the ground, Neil and my friends are like tiny ants going back and forth. Could the paintings be an airport for the Sky Garden? Aliens! We meet again. You're a strong boy to have come this far. This Sky Garden is our mode of transportation. There are four crystal balls in four locations. Find each one in clockwise order. Drop off the cliff at the front and back to find the upside down world. Aliens! You got birthday next week? Oh, nice. I hope you have a good time. Ah, good old Gaia. She's not interested in chatting shit to us. She's like, you got better things to do. Get moving. Alrighty. So, we start as suggested clockwise. I don't know if you can actually do it out of order or not. So, these guys are pretty big bastards. They can jump. You gotta be careful of the rowboats. Rowboats will fuck us up. So for the most part, we've got the light world and the dark world. Kind of representing how the game... Ah, how the game rolls in general. Goddamn crystal robots. Nice. You have none to invite. Come hang out with us instead then, Havoc. We'll all hang out with you on your birthday. Honestly, sometimes you can have a nice birthday just chilling as well. Sometimes I actually absolutely adore chilling on my birthday, just relaxing, doing zippo, having a good time. Get rid of these fuckers first. There we go. I love you can see the Nazca lines beneath, which is really cool. You found a red jewel. Alright, I need to find two jewels here. Right, and here we go. Time to jump off the world. Fuck! <laughs> now we got the scary red robots, who are burly, burly men. And they're super, super aggressive. These guys, whatever the fuck these are. Green orbs. They do a lot of damage. Need to stay away of them. Alright, nice. And we got here Th nine enemies. Okay. Nice. So what we got left? Five. Right. Avoid this thing like the plague. This one's no this one sort of sets you out a bit easy. So nothing too bad. Not a complicated puzzle. Not particularly difficult enemies. Just gotta navigate this upside down world. Which again replicates the the looks of the up the original. But I think it's just creepier. Mm, spoopy. I can see a shadow where those things are gonna land, so it's not too hey, not too bad. 
We had Wimbles and Robles. I mean, why not, right? There we go. That should take us to... We got two enemies left. Oh, these guys suck. Come here. Get out of it, you slag. We got the crystal ball, so that's one out of four. I actually like this dungeon, it segments these like mini mini parts quite nicely. We got one baddie left and a treasure chest somewhere to go fish out. So we can find it. Do we go down here? Ah, over here. Here we go. Yay! Soul Blazer? It should do. Considering. We found an herb. Let's go. Yeah, this is this is the spiritual sequel. They are connected. Uh, there are some themes that connect them. There's even a baddie that's in both games, which you'll recognise if you're uh, if you're sticking around. Right, so that's the first one done. Nice and easy. So we can actually put them in as we're going along, because it means we haven't got to eat all our space. I think this is where we get a new powerful will, actually. Also, they do this really cute animation. Ah, shit. Check this, check this animation, by the way. Look at this! Look at that! What a great animation! This game's full of them. It really is, it's really well animated in general. That's cool, isn't it? Get out of the way, you! You're in my way. Puzzles here are particularly difficult, though. So, if anything, the bit the bigger problem here is the combat. Probably is making sure we don't get uh, don't get rammed by evil goblins. There we go. Oh, we got freedom. It's time for blonde super knight. Let's go. Wait, we ram ranched? Nice. These guys are about to get ram ranched. Hey, dose. Eat shit. Bonk. Frieda just has no time to fuck around with these bad guys. Giant robot doing laser beams? I don't think so. Evil gribbly ball thing? I don't think so. Hey! That's illegal. These guys can be a bit of dicks so though, to be a little bit careful. There we go. Hoop. Once again, we could technically ignore some of the uh, power-ups here. They're not that necessary. Because we will fight the boss shortly. Which means hunting if we didn't want to hunt down every single one, we don't have to. Oh, this is a terrible idea. Ugh. Okay. We good, we good. Let's 
stop that. It's never, it's never my favourite dungeon, this one. But I do like it a lot, regardless. It's just got a neat concept to it that I think is uh, quite cool. Oh, this is terrible. And got the bowl! Right, half halfway done. The undersea one. See, I actually like Moo. The ocean pass and Moo. I'm not sure it's Mew or Moo. Because one is the same period of Atlant as Atlantis, right? So it's Moo, Atlantis. What's the other one? Lemuria. Lemuria, that's it. I guess it's supposed to be the ancient ruins of some sort of like Polynesian city that was before the Lost Continent Moo, yeah. So we actually don't say it's freedom for long. Check it out! They even gave freedom the same animation! Look at that! They thought about it! How cool is that? Very fine. 10 out of 10. Alright, let's go shove more balls and holes. Look at look at the glorious hair flowing in the wind. This is an incredibly good looking Super Nintendo game. Like graphically, I think. Really, really impressive. Like between between the sprite work and the like sound effects and music, like the presentation is top notch. Absolutely top notch. So we can drop off the edge there. I don't know if we want to go down first. Probably. Oh yeah, we can't. Uh, uh. Right, so we're going north. Uh, let me. I need to minimise the stream thing over here because it's flashing. Doing my wigan. Okay. I'm glad you're enjoying the jungling. Sounds like a good laugh, honestly. I found an red jewel. Oh, nice! We got the two red jewels. That's good. We're pretty much sort of done. Yes, yeah, so what we can do then. That should allow us then to continue onwards. Perfect. Look at these pricks. I, I I remember enjoying juggling quite a bit back in the day. Cool. Absolutely burned. You remember how fast you could what in what in Moo you mean? Yeah, Moo could be a real swine. So now we need to go up, I think. This one's got a fun, like, idea. Oh yeah, you're like, how do I get this? Oh. I thought you could actually hit the switch. Am I being dumb? Or am I misremembering? Oh, there we go. It just didn't work. Alright. Hey, you're talking about? Woo! So I moves a bit of a pain in the ass, but I've, I think over the years I've kind of learned the patterns of the different stages. I think I say this now, I'm gonna get absolutely fucking bummed, but you know, we get to play as uh, our boy Will. I thought this. Am I misremembering? I misremembered something. Hmm. 
I know what we need to do, but I can't remember how. I thought we were supposed to get a power in here. Am I wrong? No, we can go back to Frieden here. Obviously not with this one then. Okay, I gotta go a different route then somewhere. There must be another... Another hole to drop off somewhere then. Ah, here probably. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Good, not going insane. Right. You can't help but notice a space for another form. I can't imagine why you'd say that. What could possibly give you that impression? Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. The other form, I'm not going to say what it is, but the other form is so incredibly powerful, it absolutely obliterates anything we have to deal with. Where are we going that way? When does Alice and Sonic come out? Dunno, man. Ask American McGee. He's going to be your man for that one, I think. Body. My body! That's my body! Sorted. I would say you don't expect to see Alice's Island before 2025, probably. Realistically, I think. Right, we have pushed the Bhutan. Now we can go get the ball. I thought that was kind of a fun pattern. That was a fun one. Very nice. So that's three out of four. For some reason I always remember this dungeon being longer than it is. I don't know why. Just one of those like kid things I suppose when you try and recall stuff and you're like oh this is a really long scary dungeon but it's really not. Time to insert balls into holes. Mm. Ah, might as well heal. Save it as well. Nice. Right, last one. This is the big one. Fourteen enemies. That's a lot of enemies. That's a lot of slowdown. Mm. So we can go over this way, but if I show you, I don't think it achieves very much, because... Oh no. I actually did it right. You're supposed to do that. What you can do, if you keep holding, it takes you straight back to the start. But I probably do need to actually go to the other bit as well, but... The back of the garden, full of gribblers. Oh no, how do I get this man? Uh, Grimler? Probably. I don't know what the balls are supposed to be. They're kind of weird. I have no idea what this whole what they're actually being is. Oh dear god. Guess who? It's our boy. It's our boy again. I like the idea of having to swap between them. I swear the frame rate isn't right. I'm just, I've just had a thought. Like, I swear the frame rate doesn't look right for this. It's kind of bugging me. Let's 
sim high res, none. Uh, Save frame rate. I'm just gonna test it a minute. No, I don't know, it's just something wasn't quite right. I'm gonna test, I'm gonna test it a minute. I'll turn the, I'll turn the FPS count off again in a sec, but I wanna test something. I think that looks better. I think that, I think that's, I think that's better. I think. There's something, there was something about the flickering that wasn't right, and it was bugging me, sorry. There we go. What did they change? Uh, there was a high res mode on, for some reason. It didn't seem to be doing anything, as far as I could tell. Because um, I haven't zoomed it in, or used one of those horrible filters. So, um, I think that was causing a smidge of slowdown. Not very much. But enough to be incredibly fucking irritating. I'm really sensitive to frame rate bullshit. Oh, I'll just take it. Really sensitive to frame rate bullshit, so I think it's more on me than anything, but. There should be some baddies up. Oh boy. Score. Is there any baddies up here? Yeah. Right, this is a weird one that I remember as a kid, took me ages to work out, that you had to activate the bad guy to do this, to pull him across. I think you had to pull him up a little bit, yeah. There we go. I don't know, maybe I was a, I was a dumb kid, maybe, but... I remember that really... What the? You little shit. Five baddies? Did I miss some baddies over here? Ah. Some baddies down south. Ah. Nice. Look at the scary face in the explosion, by the way. Demon explosion. Spooky. Cinemas and this stuff reminds you of what you see in 8-bit games back in the day. Yeah, I can see that, actually. Well, that's all looked them, don't they? I'm not sure if that's any purpose moving that guy, but... Uh, five enemies left. One of these paths leads you to the correct place, one of them doesn't. And I don't remember which one it is. I want to see the lower path. Yep. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. This could be a ruse. There's two chests. Nope. I guess right. The other one's a herb. Which is probably worth getting anyway, to be fair. That's it. Well, now we're going to the boss. to guess what the boss is. Obviously, if you know, then, you know, SDFU. <laughs> Don't cheat. What kind of, what kind of, like, oh, what kind of weird boss do you think you see in, like, an ancient Sky Garden? Or do we, Aztec? Aztec Sky Garden? Burb? Close? I'll give you points for Burb, actually. And I'll explain why in a minute. This is the wrong way. I need to get back up on top. A giant golem? A spaceship thing? I'd say Burb is the closest. It's not quite right, but I'd say that's the closest. I 
A dinosaur? Mm, pterodactyl in particular. Not, not really. A snack with wings? Like, was it quite clexicotal? No, but I can see why you think that, actually. Right. Boss time. Right. A sphinx thing, like the statue. Statue's closer. Here we go. This twat. This guy gets absolutely fucking bodied, by the way. Did I ever do an LP of Soul Blazer? No, I haven't, actually. I haven't. I never did. And he's about dead. In the Japanese one, he is more uh, more of a phoenixy looking thing. Uh, like a giant big bird, I guess, rather than just a statue. I think the statue makes more sense. You defeated the huge demon. Look, a mystic statue. Yeah, that could have done with a second pass there, guys. strange noise fills the air around you. From out of nowhere, you hear Neil's voice. Will, you're falling to the ground! I'm not sure how you can hear me because of how noisy this would be. Grab the airplane and we'll fly out of here. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, fuck! Yeah, perfect! Oh, shit. Shoot! I dropped a contact! You what? Idiot! Will is doomed for sure now? Neil, it's still a little way to the ground. Try again. Okay. I'll get him this time. Fucking Neil. Lude. Phew! Look how cute the sprite work is. You found this weird book in the hallway of screaming voices? Yeah, it sounds legit. You should absolutely read from the book of scary human souls. Pargon, Pargon, Chaturga, Santok, Regmaror, Pargon. Thank you, Firefix of the Beast, dude. Thank you very much. Yeah, Will's fucking dead, yeah. That was a close one. This car is crying. <laughs> Eric's crying. Shut the fuck up, Eric! Don't cry. Will's been saved. Neil, you were great. This invention saved Will's life. Haha, <laughs> don't flatter me. We should try and locate the next ruins. I expect the shape of Cygnus is the same as the shape of Moo. Moo, Moo, Moo. Well, to the ocean! Moo lies somewhere in this ocean. Moo, moo, moo. This is where, this is probably the dungeon that polished everybody off. By the way. This, this, there's a few, like Nundi mentioned I think earlier. Um, this is like, this is a particularly brutal dungeon. Well, um, rip the airplane I guess. We got out of the airplane in the nick of time. Neil's a good inventor, but it seems there's always something missing in his inventions. I guess nobody's perfect, including Neil. So we wake up in a strange place. The next thing he knew, Will was standing in a huge palace. I couldn't remember anything since my water landing. Is everyone safe? So we're in the seaside palace. The skeletons. That's odd. Even if I touch it, no damage occurs. Spooky. Gaia, what the fuck's going on? She ain't gonna tell me nothing. Thanks, Gaia. Appreciate the wisdom as always. Alright, if I remember correctly, uh, there's one treasure chest. I think there's a couple of... Uh, mm, there's either one in the Seaside Palace, and three in Moo, or three here and one in Moo. Sorry. Sorry, that said, Will hears the voice of one of his companions next door. W will where... where is it? We're underwater. Spooky.
What? I can hear a soft voice from somewhere. This is the Palace of Vampires. The fountain in this palace continuously produces demons. Spooky. None of the demons are actually a big deal. So that takes us down, and that takes us up. So we're gonna go up first. There's a voice in the room next to me. So fucking sorry. It literally moves the second I move. What is this place? Dark and lonely. Mother, save me. Yeah, it'd be pretty stuffy down here, I imagine. Look at that background, though. It's really pretty. You found a red jewel. Hooray! Wait, did, how many have I found? That's... I found two here now, haven't I? Shit, I wasn't keeping track. Was that two? I want to say that was two. What? I can hear a soft voice from somewhere. In the basement of the castle is a strange fountain. The stone is there. Hurry! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Ah! Ah! <laughs> hey, you scared me. I practically had a heart attack. Hey, Red Jack. I saw Eric in the other room, but something strange. His body's half transparent, if I can see through it. And he seems to be unconscious, as if his spirit is lost. Let's stick together. We don't know what's going to happen. Whoop! I'll borrow Will's pocket for a while. Meow. Let's go. This is Navi before Navi. We got Lily. Alright, so where do we want to go? This one does one floor. That's where we want to go first then. That does another floor. What? I can hear a soft voice from somewhere. The purification stone in the castle. Yeah, alright. Fucking bossy boots. Uh, actually, I'm going to go continue up this way first. I think there's a couple of things I missed. I might not be able to do anything yet. Actually, yeah, I think I can. I think I can. Now I've got Lily. So we want to go back up here. Here we go. There's nothing here! Scram! Alright, fine. What about this one? Did we already do this one? No, I don't think we did, did we? Or did we? Yeah, we did. That's where we got the... Yep, fine. So I was just trying to reorientate myself after going down a few flights of stairs. Okay. Do we... Sorry, I'm being stupid now. Did I go all the way to the right here? There's a particular room I'm looking for, and I want to make sure I didn't miss it. Yeah, I did. Okay. This layout's a bit confusing. It's not too bad. I just need to work out where I... I need to reorientate myself. Alright. So, the scribble is here, but we don't need to fight them. It's kind of irrelevant. We'll go up first. Vampire coffins. I can't seem to get the lid open. Lily speaks from his pocket. Wait a minute. Isn't there a hole in this coffin? I can get it and then I'll have a better look. Meow. So you don't find Lily, you can't do this. There's a key fast inside the coffin. No wonder it didn't open. Oh. Right, so I've got... That's the two, so I'm going to keep... So I've got one more to find, okay. The do think you're digging it, Will. Found a strange stone inside this coffin. It's the purification stone. This is the sort of calm bit before the storm. Like, the Ocean Palace of Mew is like fucking massive, full of incredibly tough, tough enemies. Like, if you weren't expecting this particular part of the game, it gets really tricky. Uh, we've got a treasure just above us, right? Here we go. There we go. That's my three red jewels. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of these. There we go. Perfect. So that's the three red jewels for the palace. That means there's one in blue. That's okay. Let's 
Uh, sounds about right. So we need to, we need to go to the basement, which is here. What? It's a strange fountain. Could there be a connection between this and the rock? Yeah. We're gonna dunk the purification stone in this fucking weird ass freaky fucking shit hole. The stone began to glow and then disappeared into the spring. We're gonna purify the palace. It's gribbly. Sorted. There we go. Now people are back to normal. Saved, thank you. I was brought to this palace from Frieza and changed into a demon. Lily speaks from his pocket. What? All the demons we saw before were human beings? Eh, that's a clue. Oh boy. I now know what it feels like to be close to death. Death is terrifying. I wonder if the animals we eat feel the same way right before death. Uh, probably not, but... So our friends are missing. Hmm. We were labour traders, arrested for the crime of buying and selling human beings. But the party officials sold us to a vampire! I can't believe it. I mean, there's a lesson to be learned there, chum. Well, well, this is the result of being tempted by a beautiful woman. A nice guy asked me to follow him. I don't trust men. Wait, you don't trust men so you did follow him? Mm, shrug. The man sleeping in this coffin is surely a vampire. They're plotting something. Indeed, they are. I actually know where the key is. I'm, I was just looking around. But. So we're looking for a key to get into the Ocean Palace. So the vampires run Moo. For whatever reason. Not quite sure why, but they do. A vampire couple lives in the coffins. They bring people here and turn them into demons and use them for labour. Oops. This palace is connected to the land of Moo. The vampires are looking for something there. It's a Moo point. We were almost changed into demons. I'm afraid of what might have happened if you come later. Gross. Yep, all of our friends are missing. Weird. So we go down here in a second. I overheard the vampire say something like the mystic statue can be found in Mew. So we go down this way. And then... I stole a key from the vampire woman. Here, take it. Oh, thanks, dude. You received the key to the seaside palace. Woohoo! Now we go all the way to the top. <laughs> what a trick. Maybe we could seize this palace and live together. What will we do now, desert in the middle of the ocean? Well, we'll sort that. I always thought the music here was kind of creepy as well. Like, the, the sort of, the spooky music for this game is creepy. On the top floor of the palace is a passageway leading to Mew. Indeed. So that's where we're going. I'm not going to save it, because I'm going to use a save state. I'm going to save myself three seconds. Right. The palace. He tries using the key to the seaside palace. The key turns, making a strange sound. Lily spoke from his pocket. The phantom land of Mew lies ahead. And the mu the way the music changes here as well really sort of shows you that you're about to get like have a bad time. Lily speaks from his pocket. A passageway? I wonder if it goes clear to Mew. That's some translation scrubbo, clearly, because she just said, along ahead lies the phantom land of Mew. And then she goes, is this the way to Mew? Yes. And then here we go. Mew. Lily and I set foot on Mew. They will probably welcome us after waking from a sleep a thousand of years. Oh yeah, absolutely. Now, 19 enemies. Like, this, this is where the game sort of steps, sets things up. Or step things up a little bit. Especially considering what I'd say was quite easy. With the, uh... These guys are real shitters. These guys have a lot of health. So a lot of this is we is inaccessible to us right now because of the um, because of the way the floors work. We've got to deal with the ocean. Come here.
Also, look how much damage he does. Nice. Watery, watery tarts. Nice. I might have to heal. I should look a bit dodge. If I position myself here, I should be okay. Ah, fuck. Oh god. I'm actually going to die if I'm not careful. Nice. Hubris, I know. That was a bit close. This place looks and sort of... Ah, oh, these fucking guys are evil. They can absolutely appear where you can't get to them, by the way. Like, underwater or other such nightmares. Oh, this is a clue as well. Check this out. So, there's two heads staring at a treasure chest. Ah, shit. The chest is empty. Okay. So, the game is visually telling you that the focal point of view is something. Something to remember. And not something I understood as a kid at all. Robes. Do I have any ranged attacks? Not yet. At least not as well, anyway. Get this out of the way. Boing. Ow! Suck. Alright, there we go. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer, so we can't get any of the baddies yet, so. This guy's gonna try and bruise me. I'm ready for you, shitter. The Room of Hope. I don't have much hope going on here. Something to remember, though. And this has a... Ah! Bastard! I hate these guys so much. Oh, I don't mind when he gives me HP, though. Thanks. Well, we got 20 enemies here. Ah! Come on, man! One bit. Let's go. Yeah, using herbs in Moo is not particularly unheard of. There we go. So we've got some enemies to deal with this side as well. Around. Yeah, as a kid, I can't even describe what it was like with this. The step up in difficulty for the stage was just extreme. It was really, really extreme. There should be one more guy here. There we go. Sorted. Cool, so the entire stage revolves around us lowering the sea level, right? If we can lower the sea level, we can access more of the stage. So this is the dry bit of Mew, but we need the uh, decent bit. Once again, a completely empty treasure chest. There you go. I'm going to cheat. There we go. So right in the middle of the, uh, the Statue of Hope, wasn't there a room called the Room of Hope? No, Will, you're imagining things, you shitter. But we're going to keep going around for now. Actually, I can't go around yet. Okay, I have to lower the sea level first. Okay. 
about you. Lily speaks from his pocket. Well, I've been thinking. It appears that this treasure chest is in the exact same spot where the line of vision between both statues cross. Yeah, I know, Lily. I've already got the fucking thing. Jesus. Thanks a lot. Boing. There we go. Can I do a slightly off center? Yeah, there we go. I like doing it off center. Set wool on fire. Sun God Rama, the ocean holds a power. Does he? Shit. Nice. Right, I'm gonna make it quick. Right. So now we can go lower. Ah, there's less water than before. It looks like we'd explore new areas. Hooray! So we can actually go down. <laughs> go down now. I don't know if there's any areas here we could go down. Yeah, there is. Yeah. So this is where people get a bit confused with the stage, I think, quite a lot. Because it gets a bit awkward to work out where you've been and what area links to what. I did sneakily save scum. I shouldn't need it, but it's on the off chance if I make a mistake. I don't think there's any area lower this way we can go. I'm just going to check. I think that's GG for this bit. Yep, we go back the way we came then. Ah, oh, shit. Evil mage gribbler is giving me shit. So we should be able to get lower by going round and back to where we came. We kind of want to work our way sort of clockwise around the stage because there's a uh, power up we need for Will to navigate the stage properly. Ah, you can fuck off and all. This is where it gets rough, because this happens. We need him not to... We need him to be here, yeah. Tight bastard. Nice. Thanks, man. Boing. Right, here we go. Now we can go into the lower so area. Oh shit. This is a um This is where I think he is, yep. This is Freedom. So this is where we can get Freedom, I think. If you don't remember where this is where Freedom is, by the way, you have to do the boss as will, which is not very pleasant. Because the boss is quite difficult. Oh thank god for that. Oh shit. Sorry, I completely didn't expect you to say anything fucking useful. When you started this journey, Mew began to rise from the sea. Sea water still covers land in many places on the continent. When the water is gone, you'll discover the location of Rama, the king of Mew. Thanks! Alright. Let's kill these gribblers. Right, Freelance here to kick some ass and... Well, not really chew bubblegum, but just kick some ass right here. <laughs> It's super important to remember where you get freedom from. Because if you don't, you're going to have a truly, truly terrible time. Right, we can stay on the lower level now. Oh, come on. God, that's an old uh, fucking anime I haven't thought about in a billion years. Jesus. Sorted. Boing. How many baddies? Three. Yeah, you can fuck off, mate. I'll teach you. 
Here we go. We're below the statue now. That's where we want to be. We got a baddie up north. Up here somewhere. With a horn. Nothing we do this way yet. I think Moo's one of those places that's actually not quite as big as it looks. But it definitely feels quite big. Oh, hey, Froggy. Happy birthday. You been enjoying yourself? Oh, yeah, the game doesn't let you do that, does it? Just do it this way. Right, that's the end goal, by the way. That's where we need to go. That's, uh... Oh, you can fuck off, mate. Nice. Well, you've been chill. Excellent. Chill birthday is good birthday. gangly, feely creatures. Right, we should lose freedom around here, I think, if I remember correctly, just up here. We should see a dark space. Yep. There we go. So you might be thinking, why the fuck are we going to drop freedom? But we have to. Because he's going to allow, Will's going to allow us to get in small holes. That's what we like. We get a new psychic power. The psychic slide. The psycho slider can now be used. Thank you, guy. Only young Will can use the psychic slider. You can now use the sliding attack to pass through small passageways. Push the attack button when running. Thanks. This is incredibly strong, by the way. It does. It gives you massive iframes. Will's power is a psycho slider. Pass through narrow corridors using this power. Be careful not to overlook the cracks. Bleh. Let's go. Get into holes. Lewd. Exactly. Alright, now we can go back. I think one of the things that makes the difficulty of this reasonably balanced after the first, like, brutal savaging of this stage... Oh, because you can just do this to scan the baddies. Is that you, um... There we go is that the enemies don't come back. So once you actually get them, they're not harassing you the second time through. So what we need to do now is go through here. Whee! And now we're on the other side. Score. Is there a baddie over here? No, just a tedious, uh... Can I just whack this into faster? There we go. So you can wake up these these fine lads now. We can slide into them. Look how much damage that does, by the way. We'll absolutely will just fucking savage the rest of the game now like this. Or he would if I could actually do this properly. Oh, come on. Little weird fucking creature slapping me. The other thing I think that makes Mew harder than a lot of the previous zones is that you don't get any power-ups for a long time. Because of the way the floor clears work, you're killing all these baddies, and the difficulties remain the same. Aha! Gives you a clue what we need to, what we need to do. I'm gonna give Terranigma a try. I think so. Yeah. 
I think so. Uh, oh yeah, you're supposed to find out where the head of the statue is. I just remember this one. We haven't found the second room yet, I don't think, but, you know, point being. One last enemy, and we're actually going to get our first Mew level up. Ooh, an attack up too. Very nice. Sorted. Alright, uh, I don't think we can go out this way, can we? It's locked off, yeah. So we've got, the, we've got the Statue of Hope. Now we can sort of backtrack a little bit. Ah, oh, fuck off, mate. Right. <laughs> yeah, an attack up is going to make a huge difference as well. There we go. Boop. In Soul Blades, you get all the SPF to kill the boss. It's this one. It's this one. If you if you miss it, if you miss uh like for whatever reason. Have I missed? Have I gone the wrong way? I wonder. Because there is a thing we can do back there. I don't know. Have I spot? Is there another hole? Yeah, there's another hole up here, right? Yeah. This is the right way. Though. Takes us back to the start. And there's a down passageway over here somewhere. Is it this side? Yeah. Here we go. There we go. Right. Yeah, if you if you don't kill all the baddies, you can just um uh you can just um kill the boss. But of course, depending on which part of the game you're at, like missing some bad guys in Mew isn't too bad because the boss is right here. The next boss is going to be one dungeon, two dungeons, three dungeons? It's either two or three. It's quite a lot. Quite a lot. The sky dungeon? We've already done that one. We, we, we've done with the sky dungeon. This is the one after. This is the dungeon afterwards. Right then. That's the red jewel. Alright. Perfect. So now... Well, now we've basically just got to clear the, clear the map. We've lowered all the sea level stuff, so we can just sort of have a poot around now. Got to remember how to actually get down to the low levels from this bit. This is where we came in. So now we work, basically just work our way back through the stage. Um, we could go back through the hole, but I think it might be easier to work our way through the stage again. Now we've got the lower levels. The flip mechanic side. I don't, I, yeah, they can be a bit of a bit of a fiddly thing, can't they? I'll just get, I'll actually just do a quick heal. I think actually since I'm here. Hey! Oh, you fucking asshole! Yeah, that's what I thought, mate. Get in the bin. Now we've got both of the... Sea, well, we've now got the sea level stuff done. I don't know if we... We might need to keep Will. It doesn't matter too much, honestly. Oh, that was... A whiff on my part. Now, the question being is, how do we get down from here? Just w work our way around, I guess. We'll find out. Can't be, can't be overly difficult. Lude. Oh my god, that was a big lude. Let me get the Streamlabs open. Sorry, I can't see. I can't. I can hear it, but I can't see it because I've got the thingy shut. Do apologize. Give me two seconds. Everyone's going. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, I've agreed to the terms of service. Jean Dre Paris. Taking time to send, or Paris potentially, taking time to send appreciation to Wayne for the years of greatness on YouTube. Gotta take time to watch stream again. Hugs and love. Holy crap! That's a fucking lot of money. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Holy crap! Thank you so much. Damn. 
I'm not sure if it's Andre or Yandre Paris, Parry. I'm sorry if I horribly butchered your name. Thank you ever so much. That's incredibly fucking generous of you. Wow. Thank you. JP. Well, thank you, JP. Seriously, that's really... Holy crap, that is incredibly generous. That's in fuck, fucking flying bastards. Sorry. Let me expunge these knobs. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get slid on, mate. Get slid on. Oh no, oh no, he's using tactics. Yeah, that's sort of. Thank you so much, JP. One of my favourite anime characters is called JP. That's a cool name. Damn. You're incredibly, incredibly generous. Thank you very, very, very much. I'm on to you, fucking whiz robe dickhead. How do I get down from this one? Over here, maybe? Yeah, this looks promising. Wait, I've already been this way. Not since I lowered the water level. Oof. There's two of them. Oh man, this is gonna suck. <laughs> I'm gonna put this. You're welcome, I thank you, my guy. You let videos let me through a bunch of hard times during my teen years, I appreciate it. Well, thank you ever so much. Like, the kind words are greatly appreciated as well, thank you. I am right, you go this way, yeah, and you go back down through here. Then you go back to the guy statue, that's how you do it. Yeah, just around this way. Ah! Ah! Nice. I follow since four years before I even started streaming. Yeah, because I used to stream some League of Legends and weird little weird stuff back in the day as well. Honestly, JP, that was incredibly, incredibly generous. Thank you ever so much. Hope you've been enjoying the streams. It's been, uh, it's always been a blast. Just chilling out, doing streams. We're right near the end of this dungeon, by the way. We're almost done. That wasn't too bad. What was that, 20 minutes? Ish? You can stop that all. Oh god, there's two of them. By the way, the slide is super broken. As you can see, we can just iframe through everything if we time it right. Yeah, that's what I thought. Nice. Uh, I think there's something we need to do. Yes, we need we need some special we need a special item before we can finish. I'm trying to remember which way we go. This leads here. Oh, this is back here. Okay. Oh, interesting. I didn't realize that led back down there as well. That slides in there. Okay, fine. Nice, Will. Nice. This is the wrong way. This is the correct way to go, but we don't want to go back this way yet. Because this is the... Fuck, this is where the boss is, I want to say? Probably taking us on a ass backwards trace here, sorry. Oh no! Ah no, I did get the right way. This might be the treasure chest we're after. <laughs> nice. I always go back to the hours that's plays in the shock wrench days of Bioshock. I never did finish Bioshock. Maybe I should stream it someday. Nice. What did I actually pick up? I wasn't actually reading it. Was that the... The Rama statue? That might be what I needed? Shrug? I thought there was some sort of tears I needed, or maybe I'm misremembering. That might be it. Alright. So this got zero, zero. This might this might be it, actually. 
Six enemies, okay. Savaged. I thought there was another item, but I really could be misremembering. Loot. Oh fuck. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Sorry, I will check in two seconds. I'll be right with you. Sorry, let me just have a nosy. Come on, stream labs, wakey wakey. Make it a smooth too. Holy shit, JP. Really, you're a lad. And talk like I miss his time cord and his time shift. Back to work, I go. JP, holy shit. All I can say with that. Thank you so, so much. I hope work goes alright for you. That is an incredibly, incredibly generous amount of money. Thank you very, very much. I will absolutely pass on for Clyde. Clyde is feeling unwell at the moment. I think he's got the vid. So, uh, I will pass. He'll probably make it. I'll probably cheer him up, I think. JP, you're an absolute star, dude. Thank you very, very much. Really. Yeah, here you go. This is the other thing I needed. Hey, Alan. <laughs> Loot. Right. That should be that. Uh, so we go back now, I think. Oh, crap. Thank you for doing that. That's really nice of you. Thank you. I'd never a chance of probably thank Ween, Kike, and Kiskoski for, Kiskos for these years of laughs and good times. Thanks, man. Honestly, I, can, I think I can speak for all three of us when I say that it's our pleasure. Like, we we did it for exactly the re you know, for that reason. That we wanted people to have a good time, enjoy themselves. Yes, that's the correct way to go. Okay. Oh, do we do this with Frieden or do... What do you reckon? Do I, do I do the boss with Frieden? Or do I go do I go hardcore and try and do it with Will? What do you reckon? Honestly... It was our pleasure. Really was, JP. Really our pleasure. It was our pleasure. Thank you, man. I said, I hope your, I hope your day goes really well, dude. And thank you very, very much again. Damn. Uh, shit, come on. Freedom, hardcore. Oh, we got one for each. Any preferences? We got, we got anything to break the tie? I can do it with either. I can do it with either. We'll move more style. You'll be back. Ghost times. Alright, dude. Thank you again. Stay safe. Alright. I guess we'll do it with Will for style points, then. Huh? Right, did I pick up the... Yes. This is quite tricky. You get a bit of unique dialogue as well from Eric if you do something a bit different. So we got Rama statue. Did it say which one? No. He raises the Rama statue. Ooh. Another room changes. This looks like an ancient burial ground for the people of Mew. In the middle of all this is Rama. I am Rama, king of Mew. My body passed on long ago, but my spirit lives on. If you look closely, you can probably see wandering spirits. Ooh. I can. Once, a single ray of light came from the sky. People thought it was the light of the spirits. Now, this is not the first time we've heard that, right? One year after that, our bodies began to change. One got very thin. One turned to stone. One's bottom body melted like water. Family and friends turned to monsters before our eyes. We fought back the tears. Some couldn't take it and thought we should flee from here. But Mew is an island. We didn't know if we'd find another place to live. Oops. There was no materials for a boat. It would sink if it was made of stone. They started building an undersea tunnel. They dug on, not knowing how long it would take. Many saw no point in living if, if this thing continued. It's very dour. So this comet shows up, zaps everybody with uh, with light, and then it really Fs you up badly. The underwater tunnel dug by man is inside. Please take this mystic statue. Oh, thanks, Rama. What a hero.
Right, so this coming up boss is actually extra fun because it's timed as well. I never understood what they're supposed to be in the pit. It's like a pit, I think? I guess it's supposed to be like a hole with something in the bottom. I'm not quite sure. Oh, shit! So, if you come here as Frieden, obviously, uh, Eric sees Frieden instead. But we're, we're well. Help! Somebody help me! It's the fucking vampires. You found the mystic statue. I thought that guy who came to the palace was strange. We were right to let him go. What were you saying? You were drooling when he was here. You always like that when the young ones come. Or you ever think about... Sus vampire. All you ever think about is food. So do you. Wait, there's not a time or place for an argument. First, let's get the statue. Get ready. So we're timed, and these guys hit like a fucking freight train. Oh. Every time we see that, we have to dip. Okay. I don't remember the female vampire being so busty. <laughs> Bizarre. Oh, fuck. Fuck! Oh, got away with that. Eek! I need to heal. 90 seconds. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Lude. If you're a vampire, it's your practical obligation to be unnecessarily sexy. Agreed. Hey, Burn. I'm always sad you can't make the streams, but. Oh, I healed! Boo! Alright. Okay, I think we might have to get through done. I think it's gonna be a bit scabby. Okay, I need to get through them. That's 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 tough, man. Oof. Even with freedom, it's tough. But right, let's go get him. Let's go get him. Unfortunately, this is just a bit. Unfortunately, a smidge. Te I guess I could have gone either way actually. It's a tad tedious, but we have to go all the way. Ow. Run all the way back and go get him. Man, I actually forgot how friggin' difficult that fight is. Woo wee. Right, we gotta go no the easy way to remember this is taking none no route that requires you to slide. If you slide, it's not the route to freedom. Because he can, obviously he can't slide, so. You had the faith and you got scammed, I'm sorry. I let you down. I let I let myself down, I let you down. <sighs> Doing one hit per on a boss is madness. It's really rough, isn't it? Yeah. That means he takes 40 hits per vampire to take them out. That is not easy. Ah, that's that way, isn't it? No, it's not easy at all. Again, Mew isn't that bad once you get the general layout of it. Like, it's not it's not as bad as it looks. Because this is where we find freedom. We get this way. Yeah, whatever, man. Pew! My sense of pride and accomplishment. My sense of pride and accomplishment gets bigger with my bigger sword. My pride is so much bigger now, and my accomplishment is even greater. Now I can fucking wreck the vampires. Let's fucking go. Alright, we gotta do round two then. You all ready for round two? <laughs> Let's fucking go. Lude. Thank you again, Burn. I said good to see you. Thank you very much. And thank you, Vespius. Thank you very much for the uh, 16 Vespius as well. I hope both you and Burn are doing well. Smiley faces, always a good face to see. Thank you. Mm, nice bit of RSI running through the dungeon. Yeah. There we go. Imagine trying to do this while skipping all of the bad guys as well. So you're under-leveled for the vampires. 
What an utter nightmare that would be. Yeah, Freedom isn't fucking around. He's he's got he's got someone to be. Right, I'm just gonna take damage here because it literally doesn't matter. Oh, never mind. Let's go. I'm gonna save it before we. Actually, I don't need to. I'll just uh. Okay. Saves going in, hitting the button, coming back out. Right. I mean, think, Freedom's doing that in his fucking armor, too. Like, that's hardcore. Right, I'm gonna use the power of Xbox speeds to, uh, to be this bit coming up, up a little bit. Actually, it shouldn't matter too much, but... There we go. Since we've already seen this. Right, there we go. We'll just talk to everyone again. Yeah, so if you haven't quite twigged, everyone died once the comet showed up. But those who didn't get hit by the comet's rays decided to fucking book it. Nice. Yay. Thanks. Right, here we go. There we go. I'm not gonna make save states like in the middle of a fight or whatever. I'm gonna do it for convenience sake. And here's Eric. Help! Somebody save me! It's the fucking vampires again. Right, I'm gonna try and shit count. Look how much damage more we do. Two, 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 two. Uh, it, it, you, you miss that because what she says is, I never liked that guy anyway. Like, you just do me a favor by getting rid of him. If you get rid of the guy, if you get rid of the lady vampire first, um, the, the guy is actually quite upset about it, funny enough. Stupid sexy vampire. Oosh. Get fucking wrecked. Freedom, Freedom doesn't fuck around. He is here to kick ass. He is. He doesn't fuck around with us. First, defuse the bomb. Hurry, hurry. There's a red wire and a blue wire sticking out of the bomb. Which one, guys? Fuck. Do I do the red one or the blue one? Don't fuck it up now. Red? Both? Blue? Always blue? Both? We can't cut both! Green? Red? Always cut the red wire? What about- if you get this wrong, poor, poor Eric's gonna fucking get roasted. Red? 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 Blue? There's more for red? Red! The red wire is cut. Did you pick wisely? It was a trick question. Will Psychic, he knows which one it is anyway. <laughs> the bomb's been diffused. Saved. Lily speaks from his pocket. Sorry, Will, there's nothing I could do. My legs gave out from fear. I couldn't move or make a sound. Up until now, I thought I was strong, but in a crisis. Sorry for staying in your pocket for so long. Yeah, they saw, they tease it at the start of the game. Will can't pick the wrong answer when it comes to chances because he knows. Like, it's inherent. Like, he knows what the answer is. Don't... Don't tell anyone that Will is in disguise. Like, this is, again, it's just fucking... Honestly, they could have done with a proofread on this. What it's supposed to be saying here is, Eric says, I won't tell anyone that you are that you were in disguise. We just leave him tied up. Yeah, fuck you, Eric. I'll teach you. Will, are you okay? Will, I, I don't see Lily. Has something happened? I'm here. Sorry, I was worried you. Will was protecting me, so I was okay. Well, Will seems to have really grown up. It doesn't matter. Let's think about how to leave Mew. Well, that's good. We heard some things from someone called Rama. Will told everyone about Mew and the people who came through the underwater tunnel. It's such a sad story. Separated from those with whom they lived, others remaining underwater. If we go through the tunnel, maybe we can reach the mainland. Good idea. Let's get out of here. He did a Houdini. Yeah, he didn't need us anyway. 
So this is another like, this is a cutscene moment. This is the walking sim part of the games that you didn't really see as much back then. Which I, again, I always think this is kind of fascinating. Like they had very little, they had no cinematic uh, graphical power to work with, yet what they did with this was make these like walking parts, timed events, which again, I thought was really cool. I thought it was a nice touch. Send you a glorified cutscene, really. Five days have passed since we entered the tunnel. The same scenery goes on and on. It's hard to keep track of time. Let's rest here for today. I'm so tired. I must have walked 500 miles today. Oh, this is crazy, having to walk so far. Enough! You've been tired ever since we started this trip. Lance is right. Kara... Wait, Lance is right. Kara, I think all of us feel the same way. Let's eat. I'm hungry. Mmm, delicious. I wonder how far this tunnel goes. Thousands of years ago, the people walked through this tunnel. Somehow, when I think of the distant past, it feels so in insignificant. Hey, don't look! Oh, Eric's having a piss. You right there, Eric? You want to pee? Don't let me, don't let me stop you, kid. What? It's hard to watch. Hard to go when someone's watching. Yeah. This is a well-made game. It really is. People are strange. I was if I'm afraid the longer we travel in this tunnel, the easier it will be to forget why we're here. Maybe all ancient people were that way. I want a steak and a salad. My skin has gone dry from eating weird food. Ah, oh, it's a mushroom. These mushrooms grow all over, and it's the only in the tunnel, and it's our only food. Yesterday, baked mushroom. The day before, boiled mushroom. Before that, raw mushroom. Awfully tasteless. We can't ask too much. I'll do it to live. We have to eat. Mmm, mushrooms. Oh no, we'll found more mushrooms. It's better than starving. Let's eat. Mushrooms, mushrooms. In this way, another day passed slowly. Eighth day in the tunnel. Unable to sleep, I stared at an underground river. Can't sleep? No. I'm just looking for more mushrooms. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm so bored. Will, you've changed during this journey. Somehow you've grown up. I don't understand it myself, but I can use some strange power, and my body has changed to the body of a warrior. The change seems to have started when my father went to the Tower of Babel. I'm just starting to understand that power. Why did you join this dangerous expedition? At first it was just for fun, but now it's a secret. <laughs> we'll walk all day and tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Are there badgers and snakes? Yeah, badgers, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Two weeks since entering the tunnel. Still no end in sight. Last night when I was sleeping, I heard an odd sound from above. Kara is very concerned about that sound. I'm too tired to do anything. Wait, I hear it again. What is that sound? Oh shit! Maybe it's Riverson? Reminder, Riverson's Leviathan. Oh no, we've got to run. Run? Run where? Quiet. Everyone, this vibrating sound. It's Morse code. It's a signal ships use to talk to each other. The length of the sound indicates letters. Let's see if I can decode it. Wait. This is Seth. Seth? Shush! Quiet. Neil continues. I was swallowed by Riverson. Oh no, poor Seth. When I came to, the form of my body had changed to Riverson's. This Riverson is a creature who lives in the ocean. Yeah, rip. Like my friend, Big Seth. Rip, Big Seth. I don't know if it's human or not. He said that evolution is being affected by the light of a comet. I wanted to continue the journey with you, but not in this body. You must figure out this riddle of the comet and the ruins. I don't hear anything now. Seth, 
I'm scared. This guy must have studied Morse code. Seth, too, did a good thing. But Seth didn't have a human form. No, Eric, don't jump to conclusions. It's only exactly what he said it was. Only humans think that human shape is the best one. Well, cheer up. Let's go. Yeah. Seth is a fisk. We're here at last. We walked through the tunnel for almost a month. Look, a sign. What? Angel tribe? Travelers, please use this room? Angels living in a place like this? They say angels don't like meeting with people. First, we can rest in that room. Let's go, Will. What? Will, come with me. What are you grinning about? I'll explore this place myself. Don't try to follow me. Why are you so grouchy? Maybe she's just tired. Let it be for now. <laughs> the lady just flies down. Hup. Will, I want to talk to you about something. It's hard to talk about, but I seem to have fallen in love with Lily. I dream only of her, and I want her to notice me. It's not like me, right? Not true. You spend a lot of time together. It seems only natural. Soon it'll be Lily's 15th birthday. I want to give her a present and tell her how I feel. What would you give her? A bouquet of flowers, a pretty necklace, a sweet kiss. I'd give her a, a pretty necklace. Of course, something she would wear, she would wear would be nice. When she sees it, she'll think of you. Of course. I'll find stones and make a necklace. Thanks for the advice. I'll think about it. It's good to have friends. <laughs> this fucking game. Man, I really, I actually really wonder what the original translation is, like from Japanese. I bet it's quite different. Catch you later, swinging boy. Why do angels live in such a dark place? It feels so gloomy. The sun is really bright. I've never noticed that before. I think the angels are the descendants of the Mew people. Right, I'm pretty sure I've got two... two to get here. Oh, sorry, my phone's going off for work. What's going on? Let's see. Ah, it's not for me. That suits me. Networks can sort that out. Alright, so we can explore the village. Obviously, Kara's gone uh, walkies. What's interesting here is we actually get to see like a picture of what Kara looks like. Which is, I think, kind of interesting. Angel village entrance. Well, let's go say hello. What's interesting, look how tall they are, by the way. I know I know Will's... Will's not a kid, you know, really, but they're, I think the impression is they're quite big. This is the Angel Village. Our bodies are exposed to the sun for too long. We'll perish. Well, that's kind of a bit of a bummer, isn't it? It's been said that we are the form for which humans evolve. So these guys did get hit by the comet. So they are a little bit different. I don't know when we started living here, but when I look at the ocean, my heart aches. We have no emotions. I've neither laughed nor cried since the day I was born. I just survive. Well, that sounds kind of lame, mate. This is the Angel Village. Oh, we've always said that. That's a red jewel, hooray! People here love to dance. I dance to remember what it feels like to be human, but... The picture on the wall is painted by Ishtar, but the model in the painting was lost. We are expressionless, but Ishtar painted us with faces overflowing with human kindness. After that, people wanted to be painted flocked here. I used to dance with the person in that picture. It's kind of a nice place. I wonder what the original phase was, Angel seems. Yeah, it does make you wonder, doesn't it? Maybe like evolved, maybe? I don't know. I am the jeweler gem. I control the seven seas. I'm holding 22 red jewels from you. You collected over 20! According to that list, your psychic power will be raised. It's a mysterious power given by the spirit. Your psycho dash power is increased. Thanks. So dark power at 30, and my secret to 50. Mm. 
Woman playing harp. Music is the best medicine for the soul. The right song will cure any disease. Except for chlamydia. You're stuck with that one. Alright, go. Got anything to say? Nah. Alright. I'm a sculptor. I plan to make a thousand statues in my lifetime. That's quite a lot of statues. Good for you. She appears to be sleeping. It's like the spirit's drawn out. So this is interesting. We've learned that being in the sun kills them. This person committed suicide. Just peacefully in their room. Which I thought, it's kind of dark. Weird, isn't it? Like... Extremely dark, yeah. And again, it is a Nintendo game from 1994. They they missed a lot of, like, subtle stuff in this when they were blasting it with the sensor stick. I guess, like, the vampire's massive hooters. <laughs> they don't normally let that stuff through. Do you know the painting Ishtar? Yes. Ishtar Studio is on the other room of the other side of the store. But in front, creatures with hate in their hearts are waiting. If you must go, you can open the door. Well, we're looking for Kara. I think we- I think there's a clue here somewhere that I've missed. I, I'm gonna not go through there yet, because I want to have the context. I think if we go this way, maybe? Somebody says, I saw a girl or something. No, it's her. One, here we go. Once a human woman named Kara came here. Ishtar praised her beauty, then she went to his studio. I'll show you the way to the studio, remember it. Go go with the wind. If you look at which the way if you look at which way the torch flame bends, you'll understand. This subtle fucking clue, by the way. This subtle this is a reasonably subtle clue that I missed a lot when I was younger. Down the dark street through where the wind blows, to where you can hear the waterfall. Then look for the place where the sound of the waterfall is loud. Ishtar Studio is in front. Be careful. That. This is how you get through a puzzle. This person here telling you, this lady. Go with the wind and look at where the torch flame bends and the waterfall noise. That's what you get. Also, this translation's weird. Once a human woman named Kara. She was literally right here. I would assume the translation would be more accurate as shortly... Like, a human woman called Kara and Ishtar were, ch were talking. He asked her to go to the studio so he could paint her beauty, or something like that. I think that would probably be a more apt translation of that particular phrase. Because that doesn't make- once a human woman called Kara said it makes no fucking sense when it was like 30, 30 seconds ago. A Zelda dungeon. We want Soul Blazer. Oh no, it's the bats! Skelly tans. So for the most part, these enemies are pretty similar to the way they were to the other ones. So you see the torches? The torches show you the way you need to go, technically. Which is a bit weird. This is not a particularly big um, dungeon. I got stuck here as a kid for so long though, because I just didn't understand the flame puzzle thing. Just didn't get it. At all. My puny, my puny young, young brain was just like, what? Also, like I said, the psycho dash is just like, lol. Oh, sorry, the psycho slide is just like, lol. You just absolutely shit can all these bellies. Uh, was there, a, was there a, no, okay. I, there's only one red jewel in here that we're worried about, so. Uh, we'll do the upper floor first, I guess. Yeah, sometimes it would be in games magazines, wouldn't it? And someone would be like, how do you actually do this? And it's like, this is what you're actually supposed to do. I love the sleeping dragon guys. Look how cute they are. Aww. They hit like a fucking freight train. They suck. They go, meh, meh, meh. Fuck you, dude. So that's the wrong way to go. So we want to go back this way. 
We have to get most of the baddies here, otherwise we're going to be... Uh, it's, again, it's quite a long time without XP otherwise. The next boss is a little while, so... So we can go back to Twilan. Have I missed it somewhere? That's the way we came in. Oh, I see. It just leads to the same place. Just a bit further down. Okay. Last two? Last two. Sorted. He's always a frog. Funny looking frog. I mean, it could be like some sort of demon frog, I guess. Right. It's dark and spooky. Also, how cool is this? Chrono Trigger does this a couple of times as well, where it uses like the shadows, like 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 really cool lighting. I thought this is I thought it just looks kinda neat. Of course you can spoil the sprites by pushing start. You can see exactly where the baddies are. Nice. Right, here's the treasure chest. Look at this! This is what fucking confused me. I'm like, what? You follow the flames? What? Like, where the fuck did I go? I just, I got stuck. I went back and forth, back and forth. The wind blows through a crack in the wall. I found a hidden passage. Look at that! I had no fucking clue as a kid. Not a clue. Just did, just didn't get it. Oh, these guys suck. So the part, the clue tells you to look for which way the fl the flames bend, and a uh, crack in the walls. Ah. Me, me, <laughs> me, me, me. There's the red jewel. The entrance is too small. Did I get the treasure chest in the other room? Did I do? Yeah, I did. Okay. A little bit more upset than angry. They do a little bit, don't they? My health's looking a bit dodge. Be a bit careful. The wind tunnel. Ugh. Time to cheat. Get shat on, mates. Lal. It's weird, it's not a particularly difficult or long dungeon, it's just that particular puzzle always stuck with me for years. Because of how badly I didn't understand it. I was like, meh. Oh yeah, here's the other, this is the other part of the clue. This one's a bit easier because you just got to listen for the sound of the waterfall. Oh, there's nothing this way. So we've got two jewels, three jewels. Shit. Have I fucked up somewhere? Wait, hold on. One from the fountain, one from the dungeon. Did I not get rid of the last one in... Am I missing one? Did I not get rid of the treasure chest one? Maybe I didn't hand them in. Maybe I didn't hand them in to actually... Maybe I didn't hand them in. Hopefully I haven't missed one. That'd be annoying.
Look, it's Kara. What? Kara's picture. She's contained inside it. Ishtar being a gribbler. You found a red jewel. Nice. I wonder if you're here to get Kara. Go into this room. If you solve all of the riddles, I'll give back the girl. Oh, what a prick. Alright, I'll solve your riddles. Ishtar's voice resounds. Learn well the conditions of that room. When you learnt it, leave the room. Show me how it's different. The pot. Right answer. The jar has changed colour. It's spot the difference, yeah? Good. Go to the next room. Nah, mate. Fuck you. Ishtar's voice resounds. Learn well the conditions of that room. When you've learned it, leave the room. How many gems do you want? I need to check in this. I'm not quite sure. I need to go see him. Uh, is it the pot again? I want to say it's the pot again. But I don't think it is. It was it the painting? Which pot was it? <laughs> right answer. Good. Go on to the next one. It was the pot, yeah. The last one's more subtle, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this one's this one's clever. You found a herb. I like this one. Show you how it's different. It's the treasure chest. Right answer. How have the contents of the box changed? Good. Now we've got a red jewel. So that should be four for this place. Okay. And one from before. Learn well the conditions of that room. When you've learnt it, leave the room. This one's super fucking, like, sneaky, by the way. This one's cool. I'll actually, uh... I actually won't tell you this one. Alright, ready? Show how it's different. Ishtar's mystical trials of visual memory, yeah. The smile? What, the statue? Anyone else? Her face? The statue smiling? The wind? Windy in here, yep. That's the right answer. The wind blew your hair around. You've passed my test well, you may return. It's the wind, yeah. This game does a lot of stuff with the, the way that Will's model moves. Like it's windy and stuff. I don't know why Ishtar has a spot the different sex dungeon, but you know. And now Ishtar has killed himself. <laughs> I have been waiting for you. Sprinkle magic powder on the painting and give it a kiss. If you care about her deeply, something will happen. You'll see. I painted a self-portrait. Soon I'll become the painting. You must take care of her. He's gone. You feeling rough, Glyco? Oh, I'm sorry, man. Plenty of water and keep that paracetamol going to keep your temperature down. If I don't use the magic dust, I have the magic dust. He try using the magic powder. He spreads the magic powder on Kara's picture. Kara, please return to your original form. Will gently kisses the picture of Kara. Will, I'm sorry for being so selfish. Kara, you make me so mad, I swear to fucking god. You run off for 30 seconds and you find yourself the one madman in the fucking village who can turn you into a goddamn painting. Ugh! I mean, it's fine, don't worry about it. You're not the only person on this journey. Yeah. 
Ah. I'm. Uh, uh, I don't know what I'm doing myself. Uh. When I was in the castle, I could have anything I wanted, but I was a completely different person before this trip. Naturally, it's a mistake to think you can control everything. No, but when I'm far away, I feel close to it. When I'm close, I feel far away from it. I realize that now. It's all right if you don't understand. I'll never forget what happened today. Character development, yay! Kara, I was worried. Why are you always running around alone? Don't you think about the rest of us? Will already yelled at me about that. My apologies to everyone. She understands now. We should forgive her. I think the floating city is about three days south of here. I think we should go right away. Tell me when you're ready. In the floating city, many houses are built on rafts. Kind of romantic. I like it. Lily will have her birthday while we're in the floating city. I think I saw a red jewel in the Angel Village. Just the one, Eric! Just the one! There were fucking four of them! What if I didn't- what if I listened to you? Kara looks a little strange. Has something happened to Kara? My intuition's usually good. Alright. I'm gonna go see the Jeweler Gem a sec. Uh, and double check how many I've got. I think I'm up to date. I mean, it's a bit too late now if I miss one back in the old continent, but... Twenty-three. Give you red jewels. Twenty-seven. I'm pretty sure we're up to date. Guide in front of you says twenty-seven. Yeah, that makes sense. That should be right. Sorry, works. Pigging. Okay. All right. So we've got. Yeah. Fine. So that's really good. Uh, sharp gem. All right. There we go. Nice. Alright, good. So we're all up to date, which is good news. I think this, as a, I think when I was a kid, this was the first RPG I played where you couldn't go back to places very easily. Like in stuff like Zelda, you can always traverse the overworld. Even in Secret of Mana, you could do that. But in this, it was different. The story said you weren't going to go back. And that was that. It was very strange. I, I wasn't used to that. A more cinematic sort of style. Which is what I think, in a way, has made this game age quite well, I think? Yeah. Nah, yeah, it fucking sucks, like, honestly. I really hope it passes you nice and quick. Covid blows. Alright, Neil, let's fucking go. I think it's very hot in the floating city. Everyone be careful not to get heat stroke. Thanks, Neil. One of my first ever streams, by the way, on Twitch, was this game. Weirdly enough. Probably about six, seven years ago now. It was actually this particular part as well, funnily enough. I did like one stream, it was like two and a half hours. I think I'd, I was playing the game myself, like casually. And I decided to uh, stream a bit of it. They also have a demon village. I don't think so. Though this this place has a dark secret to it, you know. We went to the water city, Watermere. Yeah, that was a original. What well a beautiful town with houses built on rafts. The townspeople have kindly put us up at the house of young Luke. Oh, thanks, young Luke. This is Luke's house. He's a lovable young fisherman. I'm going out on a long fishing voyage. You can use my house while I'm gone. I think what it's supposed to say, Luke left us a message which said this or something. Watermere is very pretty, but I've heard a terrible rumour. They play games with human lives. Frisia was the same way, but beautiful. Things always have another side to them. I heard that Lance saw someone he knew in town. I guess he went to look for him. <laughs> I found something good. Go outside and look behind the house. I feel a little guilty, but... The house on this raft gives me a really nice idea for a new invention. Uh, right, I think there's some. I think there's at least one red jewel here in Watermere. I'm pretty sure. Um, this is Luke. Take care of my house. 
You make yourself at home while I'm gone. These little lily pads can take you places as well. Kara's diary is secret. Read it. Yes! Tenth month, tenth day. After a long journey, we arrive in the floating city of Watermere. I was parched after the journey, blisters on my feet, but I wrapped them in my handkerchief. Before I would have complained, but I didn't say anything. I think I've changed a little. I'm so pleased that I can be so concerned with someone else. I heard this saying from a villager. If you wish over a lotus leaf on a full moon night, your love will notice you. A good saying. Maybe I'll try it. Yeah, Eric's just reading a girl's diary. Eric, that is not cool, dude. What a douche. Right, so first things first, I'm going to nab where I think the, uh... Oh, hello. Oh, look, it's Sebas. Do you remember Sebas, don't we? My father's an explorer. Soon you will find the gold ship and come home. And Nana. We haven't heard from my father since his last letter six months ago. I hope he's okay. Uh, we found their dad, by the way, in the Incan ruins, dead under a trap. He was a skeleton. Uh, rip. A crazy old man came here two years ago. He talked about the Tower of Babel. Also, this is a fucked up translation again, because six months ago doesn't make sense with how this plays out. But... Cebus. I was bitten by a snake when I went to the Great Wall of China. Once the snakes around here bite you, they don't let go. If you're bitten by a snake, you should run around like crazy. Alright, I remember that. Thanks, kids. What a shame. Daddy! He was a good man. What a rotten way to die. I've heard that a huge centipede called Sandfanger lives in the Great Wall of China. They say fluid from his body can cure anything. Ugh. Stop it. Chinese medicine has many strange things, but drinking an insect's bodily fluids? This is Watermere. The houses are built on rafts. We like to move around. Should you actually run around like crazy and bit my snake? I don't think so. I don't think that's a good idea, but... This is Watermere, yeah. We drink this water, cook with it, wash with it. You shouldn't, you should probably, you know. I mean, I ain't your mum, you can do what you want. Water never stays in the same place. It's always moving and cleansing itself. We want to live like the water. I got a red jewel, there we go. Build a great wall, let a centipede mood in, profit. Yeah, it makes sense. By the way, do you want to see something really weird? If I say this moment. Continue your journey. Nah. Then rest a while. That's it. I, d I don't know if this was supposed to like... I guess the idea is it's supposed to like be like guys looking after you or something, but you can't actually continue, by the way. That's it. <laughs> you have to reset the game if you want to carry on. If you accidentally push, like, wait. That's it. You can't even pause it. It just stays like this. I even know if it's supposed to be a quit to menu fail. I don't know. It's weird. Because it's playing the music separately. Weird, isn't it? I have no idea what the fuck. Please turn off the Super Nintendo now. Yeah, literally. I love the guy has just taken residence in someone's house. F freeloader. This animal's called a crook. It's good for crossing the desert. It can live without food or water for a long time. I mean, just because it can, doesn't mean you should. This is a gambling house. A child would have, a v have to be very poor to come to this place. It says desert? It's really weird, right? It's really weird. I have no idea why it says desert. Those are clearly Chinese letters above the gambling house, right? Or supposed to be, I guess. I'm not sure where Watermere is supposed to be. Like, I'm not sure what, what it's supposed to be. Southeast Asia, I guess? I, I would assume. Somewhere. I don't give a shit about these. What I do care about though. Red jewels, baby! Betting small money won't make you big money. Of course, if you want to risk your life, you can make a fortune. Uh. You can still do it. Life is like a gamble. Make one mistake and you're on the road to ruin. People do that unconsciously. 
As you can see, it's a drinking contest. They bet on who will win. Oh, it's Gem. Alright, Gem. I'll give you the jewels. 29. Nice. Human life is not such a simple thing. You shouldn't waste your life on gambling. Do you need a lot of money? Go to the raft on the outside of this building. Sneaky. So these are doing a drinking contest, but there is something interesting. Like, you saw the raft there. Not saying we need to do yet, but, you know. Sneaky, sneaky. Soon, the baby will be born. Our family goes about their jobs in high spirits. That's definitely, that's definitely a good translation, for sure. <laughs> I appear to have caught a little cold. Uh, where are we going now? I think we need to go top leftish, but... Six feet, so away. There's an old man in the town, he's a little bit crazy. He was with the explorer Olman on his expedition to the Tower of Babel. That's my dad. The crazy old man has grey hair, but they say he's still young. Maybe something bad happened to him. What are you doing over here, kid? I'll tell you something. Wait on the right side behind the gambling house. A lotus leaf will come. It will indeed. Not something we need to do yet, though. Look, it's Lance. And someone who looks like Lance. Yes, he's definitely got grey hair. Absolutely. <laughs> will, do you recognise this person? He's my father. It's the ginger hair. I went on an expedition with Olman. It was scary, but fun. He seems to have lost his memory. I finally met my lost father, but... Wait, Will, I'll go too. I'm preparing Lily's birthday present. I want to finish by dark. Let's go to our room. Daddy. Stop it. Stop it, Daddy. So we're going back the way. We're going back to our place. Crook! Yeah. Kia! Oh no, they sound like anime girls. Oh, can you imagine how upsetting that would be? Look at this majestic beast. Kia! Kawaii! We're like, ah! Fuck. Let's have Lily's birthday party while we're all together. What? Everyone remembered my birthday? Did you expect it? Y Eric's like, piece of shit, you didn't expect that. Everybody kept it a secret to surprise you. Hey, Kara, bring that. Hey, it's a giant fucking cake! Yes, birthday cake! Neil made it! Ha ha ha, my first cake. It was harder than building an airplane. Thank you, everyone. I'm the luckiest girl in the world. So we began Lily's little birthday party. At the end of the party... Ah, uh, Lily, can I talk to you for a minute? I'll wait outside. Huh? I wonder what. So, place your bets! Do we think that Lily feels the same way? Or do we feel that Lance is about to get denied? How do we feel? Lily's too tomboy for Lance? Ooh. This gonna hurt? Oh ye oh ye of little faith. Maybe it's gonna be fine. Of course she feels the same. I don't have the mod page open. Should be some dairy about it. I want to believe. You want to have faith? He's a tosser, so she says no. <laughs> Harsh, but you know. Excuse me, everyone. I'll be right back. A 90 RPG. What's up? You're not yourself. Relax. You're right, I'm, ugh, I'm not myself right now. This is your birthday present, I hope you like it. Wait, that's you not, that's not what we suggested. And you get a loot. Everybody gets loots. Hey, Deus, thank you so much, dude. Thank you very much, man. That's, you've been doing a lot of friggin' subs lately. Thank you very much. 
That is really generous of you, dude. Thank you. That's really kind, man. Thank you so much. You pulled that bouquet out of his ass? I mean, that's impressive. Seriously, Dash, you're absolutely lovely, man. Thank you. Rosebuds? They'll open up into roses. I mean, a flower for a girl who can turn into a flower is actually kind of cool, I guess. They smell wonderful. Thank you, they're beautiful. I have another present. Something I want to tell you. What? Uh, yeah, <coughs> the words are harder to say than a tongue twister. Lily, I love you. Oh, he went, he went in hard. Oh, he went in hard. I don't know, dude. That's, uh, that's going in strong. Uh, <laughs> you might want to say something, Lily? Oof. I've, I, think, I think our boy fucked up. You don't have to answer right away, but I wanted to tell you, you know, how I feel. Lance suddenly stutters, a load of spaghetti comes out of his pocket, he's like, oh god! He crawls on the floor and it's like all the spaghetti overflows, he's like, oh fuck! Oh, what do I do? Usless. Person's treats. <laughs> Whoop. Oh shit, son! You done fucked up now! Lily, wait! We had no idea what had happened. That day, Lily didn't come back to her room. Lance was covered in spaghetti. <laughs> Classic Lily. So in the morning, when I awoke, Lance had disappeared. What happened to Lance and Lily? I'm worried. Maybe they're just like, you know. I found something good. Go behind the house. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Eric. The house is wrapped. Oh. So I guess we have to try and work out where they've got to. So where's everyone got to? So we need to go find, uh... Which house is it? Not this one, is it? See if old see if we can find out where Oldman's got to. That went even worse like magic is Like this game is full of surprises. This game's full of surprises. Like it you know, it doesn't necessarily like play out the way you think it might. This is the bottom left. I need the top left house actually. Honestly, the the dead pause followed by her booking it is one of the funniest shit. I love it so much every time I say it. Alright. Lance doesn't appear to be here. So we've learned the clue what we need, but, you know. I don't, actually, no, we can't. We haven't found what we need to do yet, I guess. There's an NPC around here we need somewhere. So that, well, I say NPC. I should. We should be looking for lands, really. Uh, we don't want to go up there. We don't. Listen, I don't believe we want to go into the gambling house. I don't think that's necessary. Not that one. She is very shy. To be fair, yeah. Check this one. Sorry, this is where my memory fails me a little bit. We need to find a clue of what's happened to our friends. I'm not sure if this one takes us anywhere. I don't think it does. That's the other place over there. That's Nana and Sabas. That's about the snakes. Hmm. I'm not quite sure we need to go for this one.
There's definitely something you do here that sort of kicks this off, and I've completely forgotten what it what it might be. Maybe I need to do the leaf thing. I don't know, I didn't think I did, but maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe I'm being also sorry folks. I I kinda know what where what we're doing next, but I can't remember the what we need to do. Isn't the gambling house activity rather grim? Oh yes. Oh yeah, don't you have to get off and back on? That leaf is a troll. So maybe she is. I think it'd be unusual to be hiding in there, but maybe. I think we have to find something like uh, on the floor or something. Maybe. This leaf is a scam, right? Maybe it doesn't take us up here yet, and that's why it won't let us go. I don't know. I don't know. On a full moon night, they play Russian Glass, the most dangerous game you can play. But you're still young. I wouldn't think you'd throw away your life. Get off my fucking leaf, dude! Yeah, thanks. That's Russian Roulette. Catch you later, Chippetto. Isn't this a kid's game? Uh, it's... It's not a kid's game per se. It's, uh... It, it's definitely got, like, um... What's that word? There's nothing in here, is there? I think we have to find, like, a piece of the necklace on the floor or something. Again, this game's got, like, a, quite a few dark themes in general. I swear it's that like, you find something on the floor? I think shining, maybe? Again, maybe I'm completely and utterly misremembering. I might look it up in a sec and make sure. Use the flute. Oh, Lance's letter. There we go. I'm going to the Great Wall. God damn it! I knew it was something like that. Going to the Great Wall of China. I intend to keep it a secret, but I told Will just in case. I'm putting this letter in his luggage, but he probably won't notice. The townspeople say there's some kind of cure for my father at the Great Wall. It's a long journey, but I'd go anywhere if it would help him. Don't worry about me. P.S. By the way, Lily has left me. It's <laughs> such a sad, sad lad. Alright, now we know where we can go. Alright. Yeah, thanks, Vera. I think I realised about two seconds after I, uh... What time is it? Won't get, won't get much. The Great Wall's quite a big dungeon. Won't get it all done, so... So this is the location of the fourth Mystic Statue. And, uh... The next block, the boss. I followed Lance's trail to the Great Wall. A corridor stretched to the distant horizon. Great Wall's cool. Some of these enemies are real fuckers. Are like these twats? I'm on to you, dickhole. There we go. Again, as always, you can absolutely shit can these guys. This is where we get Will's final power up as well, which is nice. Music here is cool. That's with everything, really. I have no idea why the Chinese really don't like Will. I don't know. It's a bit awkward, but, you know. Hey, oh, shit! I'm okay. Imagine not abusing Psycho Slider every two seconds. What a terrible experience that would be. I'm just gonna clear the bottom of this place. There we go. I'm pretty sure there's like a couple of uh, 
Couple of treasury chests we want to get at some point in here for red jewels. You guys been enjoying this, by the way. It's a bit more, as far as RPGs go, it's more akin to Final Fantasy in terms of how like text-heavy of a game it was back then. But I really enjoy it. I think it's uh, got an intriguing little story. Not like it's not going to win any awards or anything, but I think it's just it's a nice little story. A small stone falls. Ha! This is part of the necklace lance made for Lily. I picked up the stones. Will Will's amused by the fact his friend has dropped all his fucking spaghetti. I see. Come on, Will, don't be a dick about it, dude. It's a classic. Yeah, the game's fun. Sad I missed out on it. Yeah, it's just it's just a great little game. It's one again one of the few RPGs we actually got in Europe on the Super Nintendo era, like of like a J proper JRPG, I guess, that wasn't Zelda or Secret of Mana. What do we what do we get? We got Secret of Mana. We had Terranigma, Soul Blazer, uh, Illusion of Gaia, Illusion of Time over here. Uh, did I do Secret of Mana? Yeah, Zelda. What did we get? RPG wise, Secret of Evermore. I think we got. Dropping spaghetti, he's doing so embarrassing and flustered, yeah. This silly, isn't it? It's almost like they don't want people on their wall. Yeah. It's an old 4chan meme, it is, yeah. Very old. You want to see something ridiculous? I think this is the ridiculous hole. Are you ready? She We're fine. It's like the Terracotta Army or something. So this one's not. Psycho Slider kills every enemy. Psycho Slider. No one can mess with it. Psycho Slider. I got a red jewel. Right. I've got. How many have I got? One. Okay. Necklace stones. Will's condition. Look at the little sprites. Whee. Psycho Crusher. What from M Bison? Yeah, M Bison's pretty hardcore. I think M Bison would like this kid. Lance casually just walks through all of this. Yeah, Lance is hardcore, man. Don't throw a Lance. Yeah, Will's just delusional, yeah. Where are we going, anyway? Snakes! Snake! Snake! More stones. These buttons do, but we're gonna smack it. Yeah, fuck it. D is there more stones up on one of these, or am I rushing things? Nah. I think we might need to go down again before we go up. I think we missed some baddies down below. Uh, again, it doesn't super matter, I guess. We could just ignore it, but. It's kinda handy, isn't it? Snakes! Please, please come here. Please, please, please. Please. Thank you. Yes, some spaghetti. Oh, nice. I mean, Will could be delusional. Who would muck and mess him at this point? Like, Will's some, like, super evolved comet warrior. Like, Will's fucking hardcore. But Will is killing armored men with a flute. Would you fuck with this kid? I wouldn't. He's hardcore. Oosh. Sweet. 
small psychic boy bludgeons entire enemy army to death with a musical instrument. Wait! Oh shit, it's Lily! Are you looking for Lance? I'll go with you. Ha! It's been a long time since I borrowed Will's pocket. Let's go. Yeah, it's been like, what, six weeks, I guess? Oh, it's over a month, at the very least. Mm. I found an herb. Yeah, fuck that snake. Come on, then. Prick! I'll have you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Right, we can't go this way, so... Get binned on. Rude. There we go. Sorted. Why did other NPCs? Li only Lily. She's a flower girl. She literally can. She's a flower spirit girl. Oh, I fucked it up. I'm sorry. Oh Jesus. I have to go around. Should have stopped really, shouldn't I? Don't mind. This is fun. Yay! 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 Oh fuck! We are unable to proceed. Eh, eh. Alright, back we go. So now we have to come backwards. Do people know Will fights monsters and stuff or trans and transforms? Lily and Eric know that he can transform, they're the only two. The rest know that Will is strong and he's psychic. Like, they, they know he's got psychic abilities, but that's about as much as they sort of know. Snakes! Snakes! I think you come down here if you fuck up. Snakes! I love Ralph Julia. He was so good in that role. Snack? Snake! I don't think you freed in here, I don't think. Here we go, we got Will's last skill. This one's of questionable use, honestly. There's a couple of times I think you could possibly validate its use, but it's mostly for dungeons. Was the Valon down? I mean, I fucked up. No, no, I just saved myself a trip, really. Only young Will can use the spin dash. Spin your body to send enemies flying, and use the recoil to climb hills. What the fuck does that mean? Use the recoil to climb hills. That's not what this does. That's not what this does at all. I see. Will's power is a spin dash. Use this to climb hills and jump. There are many hills of the Great Wall of China. Try everything. <laughs> She's like, yo, dude, there's some like fucking sick leaps to make. Get some stunt jumps, bro. I'm like, thanks, guy. That's awesome. Yeah. For Rizzo. Here we go. So you land here. I'll show you how this works. It's done. What you can do. It does quite a bit of damage, but... And you can stay, like, charged up while you're doing it. Like, it technically does decent damage, but it's just not very useful. However, we use it for other things. Uh, is there anything actually worthwhile here? There's no items here, so I think we just leave now. Guess what we do with this? See? Now we can actually do our own jumps. Hooray! Now we can finish the rest of this area. Snake! Snakes! Fuck! Sorry, we're good. 
The snake's trying to have us. Look how evil that little bastard is. Why is it always snakes? They're miserable little swines. What the? That is unnecessarily quick. I think maybe you have to spin on this one. I don't. I didn't think so, but there we go. No, it's just it's just a dickhead. You deserve that. Ah! Right on my forehead! What an asshole. Oh, we do get freedom. I, for some reason, didn't think we did. Oh, well, let's, uh... Oh, maybe, maybe... Yeah, I'm thinking of something a little bit later. I think it's a bit later. That's fine. You can't defeat the boss of Freedom in this one. It has to be well, I think. I, I don't think there's any way to get Freedom there. Freedom's here to fucking Shrek people. Please stop that. Please, please stop that. Please. It's mildly inconvenient. Stop it. Sword. This super warrior runs around the corner like, ah, and you're like, who the fuck is this kid? Is there a way to get past this particular part? Oh, yeah. Here we go. I think you don't use freedom for that long in this one. Use something like that. It's probably like, yeah, it's, it, I was about to say, it's probably like one thing you need freedom for here. Oh, awesome. Six spell broke. Yeah, get burned. Come on, you flamey fuck. I'm ready for you. Ah, oh, shit, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. This is why Kara likes Will, because she's seen Freedom. She's like, wait, is that what Will looks like when he grows up? Get out of it. Look at this one. This is safe. This one's a fraud. I mean, Freedom's already psychic. He doesn't need to worry about it. Sword. Ah! Teddy's in a hyper mood. Aw, oh, Teddy. Please pet Teddy. Half this adventure is Will fucking rescuing his friends for being dumb shits, I swear. Like, stop fucking things up. 
Bunch of useless bastards. I'm trying to save the world and you idiots keep fucking getting yourself murdered. Snake doesn't put up your bullshit. It does keep getting us to the right place coincidentally, but I feel that maybe the journey might have been smoother if they, you know, didn't. You know what, I'm just gonna kill you this way, because I'm lazy. Scam! Whatever, I go fuck. Honestly, I'm so far from the dungeon now, I wasn't going to do it, but I might as well finish it. I'm not that far. Spot the not bastards. Now we can turn into Young Will, and this is the boss now, I think. Poor Fruden, he's like, I, I don't I don't get to kill this boss? And they're like, no Fruden. I'm sorry. We have to hit Sandfanger 40 fucking times instead. Oh, okay. This is probably the most, like, eh boss, I think, overall, but... I mean, the boss is... I think the bosses are actually all pretty okay, but this, this one's a bit... Oh, we've gone the wrong way. I think we'll get about that way, actually. Whee! Hey! We have to drop down. Are you ready? <laughs> Guess which twat has the mystic statue? It's this dickhead! Oh no, that's bad. I like the boss music though, I think the boss music is neat. Oh, I got scammed. I'm not gonna heal. Don't scam me. Oh, savaged. You defeated the Sandfanger! Look, a mystic statue! Wow, that's lucky. Nice. Well, thank goodness we fixed that problem. Oh shit, it's Lance! How did you get here, Lance? That seems incredibly improbable. You're crazy, I've been worried sick. What have you been attacked? Sorry to have worried you. But I got some medicine to cure my father. Well, that's... Yeah, can you see you later, guys! Already? You're selfish. Oh, that stone. Well, if you follow the stone chips, the trail leads here. I'll give them back to you. Lance whispers, Will, 
Will you take care of Lily for me? Lude. Fucking plebs. Stop spaghettiing. I was saved thanks to these stones. This was the necklace I made for you. There aren't many necklace stones left. Will you take them? Lance, fixing the necklace, puts it around her neck. Ah. She should fucking book it again, like, eat shit, Lance. Meow. I won't run this time. This happened so suddenly, I didn't know what to do. I don't want to show my face right now. I'm crying from happiness. Aww. I've always felt there was something different about you. Now I feel I know what the difference is. I want to give you an answer. I love you too. I want to be with you forever. Aww, isn't that cute? Wow! I never felt this way before. It's like a million summer days. I feel the same way. Let's go back to the village. I'm sure everyone's worried. Yeah, I love you too, as as a friend. And he's like, ah! A croc is an odd animal. <laughs> There's a full moon tonight. The village seems different. Oh god, everyone's werewolves! If you go west of here, there's a huge desert. You can't cross it on foot without crooks. How will I get a crook? I hope Lance's father recovers quickly. I made my father very happy before. I think he'll slowly recover. That makes no fucking sense. You can go see Ullman. What time is it? I'll do this little bit and then... Uh... Do we not do this thing? Am I being a bad? I thought we talked to all members of lands. Am I forgetting something? Shut up, Neil! You might have to go do the the thingy quest first, perhaps. Anyway, we'll stop here for now. Sorry, I just caught one of blinks. Sorry, Will. All right. I hope everyone's had a lovely, lovely stream. We've done we've done actually loads. We did three bosses, so we've done the Sky Garden, Mew, and the Great Wall. We're coming close to the end of the end-ish of the game. We've got two dungeons to go. And then the final dungeon. And that's it. It's not it's not a super long game. It's not a super long game. Especially if you know what to do, but it's a I think it's a really fun one. Short but sweet, I think. So thank you very much everyone for watching. I hope you've had a uh, chill night and I'll see you all again very soon, I hope. Do take care. Oh look, Jessup is doing the, uh, the new God of War game. Well, I mean, you know, the first of the new God of War games. So let's go harass him. He's playing Dad of Boar. 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 So let's go harass him. Cheers all. Thank you very much again. I love a lot of you. Mwah. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. I want to be quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. I want to carry 80,000 fans to victory. You know, nothing major.
fucking uh, need it done. Oh, Tyrone for right. How dare you squish me? Right, pawn the right on. I am a uh, operating system in a box. Some of the bodies are those weird dead things. Yes, the dead bodies are dead things. Well done, Atreides. These bodies were first to be bin. <laughs> There's Draugr here too. They must have been fighting. Need some armor to pack that nipple away. Time for the men's on. Are they uh, are they any good? <laughs> Fuck your property. <laughs> Well, at least that's okay. I mean, it's the best you can hope for on Twitch these days, I guess. Oh, oh, that's the kid. I feel like I just did a really poor job here. There's still things that can be broken. This game seems alright. Except for the fighting, but uh. <coughs> I go down. <laughs> Fucking hustlers. Absolutely hustlers. You, you got to the A cap cave and then. Okay, Jesus Christ, bend over, you elderly fuck. <laughs> See what's up ahead. Got some fucking weird buttons. Oh, I think we found him. The deadest man in the game. Um, Kid's got plenty of time, he's young. This one? I must meticulously search everywhere for everything. Leave no stone un unturned. Did we hear chicken? There was one on the 